Hey guys, Anthony here with a review on Firefox 52, which was released on March 7, 2017. There's not much in terms of new features, but I want to share with you one major change. The change that I'm referring to is that NP API support has been removed for Firefox plugins except for Adobe Flash. NP API or Netscape Plugins API is a plugins interface that was developed way back in 1995 for the Netscape browser on which Mozilla built Firefox. This change was actually announced by Mozilla way back in October 2015. Due to the age of the API and security issues, as well as the adoption of plugin-free web technologies such as HTML5, major web browser vendors began to phase out NP API support back in 2013. In September 2015, Google permanently dropped NP API support in Chrome 45. Here is a list of some of the NP API based plugins, and this change may impact some Firefox users more than others. If you absolutely need to use NP API plugins in Firefox, you will still be able to use the ESR version, which will continue to support NP API plugins for now. The last major Firefox ESR browser update was back in March 2016, and this is where we are today. The ESR version is mostly used by organizations, and you can check it out. You'll find the link in the description section. Another change I want to mention is in terms of enhanced security. In Firefox 51, Mozilla had introduced a new warning signal when visiting websites that do not have a secure connection. In Firefox 52, this feature has been further enhanced. You will now see this warning message in login fields similar to this one. The Firefox Sync feature has also been enhanced. You can now send and open tabs from one device to the other. In order to use the Sync feature, you will need to have the Firefox account and be logged in. And finally, I'd like to share one more change that was implemented. In Firefox 52, you will now have an improved experience for managing your downloads. In the Downloads area, you will now have quick access to 5 recent downloads instead of 3. You will also have larger Cancel and Restart buttons. In a moment, I'll share the results of the BrowserMark benchmark test that I ran on Firefox and Google Chrome. But essentially, these were some of the notable changes in Firefox 52. And you can check the release notes for a full list of changes. You'll find a link in the description section. When Firefox 51 was released in January 2017, I was encouraged with the results when comparing overall performance of Firefox 50 versus 51. The BrowserMark benchmark test results for Firefox 52 showed a slight decline in overall performance, though not by much. Comparatively, Google Chrome continues to outperform Firefox based on these results. Well, that's it for now. Until next time, thanks for watching.